In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Orchard by Wind Hand. going on my name is jared and welcome to beholden to the riff the heaviest bass channel on youtube thank you so much for checking out this video let's get right into it we are in c standard tuning so grab your axe tune down a couple steps and let's do it number one is all happening on this low C string. It's going to start out on the seventh fret and we're going to do a hammer on from six back up to seven. One thing that really helps to play this riff is to play the seventh fret with your second finger or middle finger, leaving your first fret or first finger <laughs> available for the sixth fret. So you don't have to kind of move all over the place. So. Second half of the riff, we slide down to the third fret and we do the same pattern just now on the third and second frets. Here's the full thing, nice and slow. And just make sure you always hit the seventh fret with your second finger and the third fret with your second finger and you'll slay this thing no problem. So every once in a while the bass will kind of veer off that main rhythmic pattern and we'll just kind of line up with the kick a little bit more and it sounds something like this it goes So it just adds a little more rhythmic character to it. We play riff number two during the chorus. Starts in the same spot, seventh fret. We're gonna play that a couple times and then slide up to the 10th fret. From there, we slide down to the third fret. We play it twice and then pull off from three to two. So same kind of deal with the with the main riff. We want to play the seventh fret with our third finger or second finger. Slide up to ten using that same finger and slide down to the third fret, making sure to land that same finger, the second finger, your middle finger. The second half of the riff does pretty much the same thing. This time, instead of the pull off from three to two happening at the end of the measure, it happens at the beginning of the measure. So they kind of flip the beat, so it goes. time very cool just a small change really kind of changes the feel so I'll play those a couple times nice and slow Nice 
ice so heavy. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Thank you so much. You guys make all these lessons happen, make it all possible, and I am so grateful. Thank you. play riff number three at three minutes and 54 seconds during the bridge we start the same way seventh fret then we're going to slide up to the tenth fret from there we're going to slide up to the 15th fret so the first half sounds like this Second half, basically, we ride out this 15th fret the whole measure. One thing that's really cool about this section is it switches from a four beat per measure feel to a three beat per measure feel. Um, and I kind of hear it as one, two, three, one, two, three. Just awesome. Very cool. We can just play it all, kind of one finger, just slide all over the place. Really hope you dug the video, and if this is your kind of thing, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment below, and we will see you in the next one.